So on average, how, how long does a prostitute stay with a pimp? Well, generally, it can it go anywhere from a day to four years. The average that, you know, like I had some women, most women that I deal with, they usually stay about four years. After four years, depending on the age, they burnt out. Because, you know, that's a lot of, you know, interaction with people and a lot of, you know, rejection because everybody don't want to deal with a prostitute. So they got to deal with rejection. They got to deal with, you know, uh, the human elements and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, generally they might stay four years. Every now and then you see a prostitute stay with a guy for 10 or 15 years or something like that. But that's rare. So when you say they burnt out, they lead a game all together or do they move from one pimp to another pimp? Well, it's just like the NBA, but it's the NPA, the National Pimp Association. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a bra might, you know, you know, she might be in the game and, you know, she might just say, you know, I'm, I can't do this no more. You know, or she might be in the game for 30 days and say the same for me. So ain't no, uh, the book on what a bra going to do ain't been written yet. Nobody knows that question. Got you. Got you. OK. I know you you did this thing and, and you you played it by the rules. But did you ever find yourself personally falling in love with one of your prostitutes? Never. Because you remember Never. when I told you I was in jail with the dude, Pip and Pope? Mm -hmm. He taught me early on in the game that, you know, ain't no love in this shit. Love is like a four letter word, like fucking shit. So fuck that shit. You know what I mean? You know, we don't fall in love. You can't, how am I fall in love with somebody that's going and, 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 you know, getting, you know, dick all day, you know, sucking on dick all day. You know what I mean? I'm not going to fall in love with her because I know she ain't in love with me. If she's in love with me. She won't be out there selling her body. Now, you got love for the game. You know, I got love for the game. You know, we in the game. I love the game that I'm in. But as far as me being in love with a bra, that's impossible. And any nigga who tried or say he do it, it is not going to work because you're going to always be in the back of your mind. Like this bro, you know, she out here, you know, she having a lot of fun. She getting a lot of money. She, she sleep with a lot of men. You know what I mean? And, you know, then she coming home. She's telling she she love you. No, you can't possibly love me if you sleep with the next nigga. You know what I mean? It just, you know, if your wife said, baby, I love you. And she fucked every nigga in the Bronx, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm saying, would you love her? Be honest. <laughs> would you love her? No, absolutely not. Not me. Okay. So to put yourself in the pimp position, you know what I'm saying? That's why he can go from hole to hole because he ain't gonna be, you know, caught up on that bullshit. You know, that love ain't even ain't no love in the game. Your partner, motherfuckers, start at your feet, end up at your throat. You know what I'm saying? Me, the game is cutthroat. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers ain't, you know, ain't playing no game. You know, when I'm out there, you know, in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Me, you know, I'm I'm in full game mode. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting pressure on niggas. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm beating niggas to the punch. I'm going to win the war before I even go into the battle. I come out to destroy niggas. You know what I'm saying? I come out to knock your bitch. I come out to take you out the game. Nigga, you in my way. And but one number, the you know, one spot at the top, number one, I want that spot. You know? So let's let's go to war, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you try to take my bitch, I'm gonna take your bitch. But if I get your bitch, I'm gonna blow your fuse and put your bitch up some, under some new rules. You know what I'm saying? I Me mean, and I'm gonna serve you the game. You know what I'm saying? That's how the, the cutthroat game is. And then abroad, you know, she could be laying up with you, tell you she love you. I ain't gonna never leave you. And she said, I gotta go see my mama. You never see her again. Or she can, you can, y'all have an argument. She can be walking up and down the track, and here come pretty boy Roy. You know what I'm saying? Me with the brand new Rolls Royce, talking good, smiling, saying the shit she want to hear. She already upset with two. Next thing she jumps in the car with him, you get a phone call from him saying, man, I'm just going to serve you new, blow your fuse, let you know this bitch is up under some new rules. You know what I'm saying? you like, what? This bitch just told me she loved me. So after a while, <laughs> you become desensitized to that and you understand it's just like a job, like the fireman. You think he, you know, give a fuck about killing you? I mean, the police department, you think you, you think he's, if you have a gun, you think he give a fuck about killing you, he's going to kill you because that's his job. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he don't go out with the intention to kill nobody, but if you up a gun on that motherfucker, he's going to kill you. Or if you got a gun on somebody else, he's going to kill you. That's what the training is. Well, the game trained you to be desensitized. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. 
Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.